Justin Amash was the only non-Democrat to speak at either of Donald Trump's impeachments. He says there was a very important reason for that. In this, our third and final part of Justin Amash looking back and looking forward, he also talks about the person who now has his old job and his own future. In May 2018, Justin Amash was the first sitting Republican in Congress to say that President Trump had engaged in impeachable conduct. Later that year, after having left the Republican Party, he spoke during impeachment proceedings as an independent after being granted time by Democratic House managers. I come to this floor not as a Democrat, not as a Republican, but as an American. How did that come yeah. about and what did that mean for you personally? Well, I simply asked, and given that I was one of the first members of Congress to, to speak out on this issue, I thought it was important to be on the floor, especially uh, given that people were claiming it was a very partisan impeachment. And I wanted to show that there were people other than Democrats who thought that the president's conduct was totally improper. Truly no words to describe the scene happening behind me here as Trump supporters have taken over the West Lawn here. When you were watching coverage of the January 6th attack on the Capitol, what was going through your head? You'd only been out of Congress for a few days. I was horrified. Absolutely horrified. I mean, I, you know, I thought about like, what if I were there? What would I do? Um, and I thought about my friends. I was very concerned for them. He also thought about the Capitol police officers who were overrun by the mob. And one of them I talked to just in the week before I left Congress who said, hey, we're, we're undermanned here. We don't have enough people. That conversation haunts me now. Democrats renewing their focus on passing a COVID-19 relief bill. Now, Citizen Amash watches, like the rest of us, the happenings in Washington and the people who are there. What do you think so far of your successor, Representative Meyer? Well, so far I feel represented, and that's important. It's important that I feel like I have someone there who is willing to think critically and think independently. Amash says the two talk occasionally, and while Meyer, like his predecessor, voted to impeach Donald Trump, Amash says that won't be the vote that tests him. It'll be votes on issues for which there isn't much public support. And that's because most people aren't really familiar with the issue in the way that you are. They're not reading the legislation. It's not something as simple as some people storm the Capitol and are we gonna impeach the president? It's something more nuanced and technical. Then your principles really get tested. You are still a young man. You clearly have a lot to say yet. Have you ruled out ever running for elected office again? No, I haven't ruled that out. I wouldn't rule out running for, for any position. I don't rule out things uh, in life. People have asked me this many times about running for president or running for this or that. I, I don't like to rule things out. Um, uh, I'll say I always keep an open mind and, and I want to, to help uh, advance liberty in this country.